about our habits. Mm -hmm. Okay? How many vegetarians do I have in the house? Mm -hmm. All right, all right. How many aspiring vegetarians do we have in the house? <laughs> That's right, we keep it real, it's a family affair, right? right. So I'm going to go with the non vegetarians first, okay? There is a way to eat wrong. Mm -hmm. <laughs> There's a proper way to eat wrong. Mm -hmm. Don't that sound crazy? Yeah. Follow me. So say you, you, my non-vegetarians, they eat meat of some sort. Mm -hmm. So tell me what kind of meat you eat. Fish. 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 Chicken. Beef. Buffalo. Bu oh, I got a buffalo in the house. Okay. Buffalo. What else? Who? Shrimp. Okay, that sounds good too. What else? Deer. Deer. Turkey. Wow. So we have all these animals that we're consuming. Now, when you eat this animal, you must make sure that you don't eat this animal with a what? A starch, right. a carbohydrate. Right. Right. How many of us are eating the animal, because it's respectfully what it is, with a carbohydrate? Mm -hmm. And you don't have to raise your hand. I'm not asking you to throw yourself under the bus. But I'm saying if you have like your meat and you have it with rice, mm -hmm. you have then broken the law. Mm -hmm. Do you understand that? So the meat has to go with the veg only. Yes. That's the right way to do something wrong. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You cannot drink and eat at the same time. Yes, right. yes, okay? Yes, ma'am. So if you're going to eat the animal, you can't eat carbohydrates, and you definitely shouldn't be drinking with it. That's right. Wow. Okay? A lot of us say, I got to give you something to drink to wash it down. Mm. Have we ever heard that before? Uh -huh. Well, what you're doing when you're washing it down, you're telling the body that, Hey, there's three different foods inside of the digestive tract. Mm. The duodenum is the only place that digestion takes place. So there's only one thing that can digest. So if you have a meat, if you have a starch, and you have a liquid, and the body says, I'm only going to break down the easiest one, which one is it going to break down? Yeah. It's going to break down the liquid. I think my brothers and sisters out here are smart. Mm. So what's going to happen to the meat and the carbohydrates? <laughs> it's going to go straight into the intestines. How many of us, you don't have to raise your hand, feel gassy sometimes? Okay? Well, that's what happens. Gas station. It's a gas station. That's correct. <laughs> Absolutely. You ate a meat and a carbohydrate. Yes, okay? Yes, Meats putrefy mm -hmm. and carbohydrates ferments. Yes. Okay? So what happens when you start to feel gassy, the intestines is actually trying to do what the dual denim should have done. Yes. Okay, the intestines were not made to digest food. Mm. So that's when you start feeling bloated. How many of us be trying to fit into some clothes? Well, you understand? Well. That, you know, we try to get the oh, men. I don't know, I know I'm not talking to the men in the house. I'm going to say girls. Because I know my ladies, you understand where I'm coming yes. from. You try to suck it up so you can make it look good in that dress. <laughs> it's from incorrect okay. And we have all done it, including myself. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. It's okay to have air. But you have to, at some point, yes. understand that you're erring yes. and correct it. Yes. Okay? Mm -hmm. So does my being eaters, do you feel me? Yes. Yeah. Okay? So to be powerful, you must kind of change what you do. Mm -hmm. So if you're going to eat meat, I'm not going to knock you. I know what that's like. But it's, it takes a long time for that meat to digest. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay? See. So you ate this meat. And it's still in there next week. Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. And a lot yes, of us have uh, issues going to the bathroom. Wow. And that's one primary reason why you can't use the bathroom. We call it number two. I don't know why they gave them numbers. <laughs> but that's why number two is not working that way. Mm -hmm. I can tell you that. Okay? So a lot of us go and get our colonoscopies. We take enemas. Mm -hmm. We take, um, what are the other things called? Laxatives. Mm -hmm. And we have to use the bathroom based upon that. That should not be the way you use the bathroom. That's right. Your foods alone should allow you to have correct peristalsis. Mm -hmm. And that's the muscle that's in the inside the intestinal tract. And that moves the fecal matter along. But when you've been working it so long and you've been eating meat and drinking at the same time, it gets lazy and that food sits in the intestines and then you get constipated. Mm -hmm. Okay? As you start to grow out this way, it's waste. Okay? Because it's not supposed to come out this way, it's supposed right. to come out through the body. Right. Is everybody feeling me? Right. You know we're a family now. Yeah. Don't take it personal. Right. But we're trying to be a powerful people. Yes. Okay? Yes. 
Not for my vegetarians. We think that just because we can say, oh, I'm a vegetarian, I'm a vegan, that we healthy. No, you're not. No, you're not. Okay, it's a fact. Some of us do it, say, you know, I don't eat, all I eat is vegetables. And then you ask them what they eat, and they say, I eat a lot of potatoes, mm -hmm. bread, mm -hmm. rice, mm -hmm. peas. Mm -hmm. They eat a whole lot of starch. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Starch turns into what? Sugar. Sugar. Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you have this starch, this sugar inside your body. Yes. So what kind of problem are you having now? Diabetes, now how can you be a vegetarian and a diabetic? Well, well, see. Don't just sound a little crazy. Teach. You know, you're bougie because you can stop eating the meat, oh. but you're diabetic. Yeah. And you done went from being a diabetic and you got high blood pressure too. Well, well. You understand? Because you didn't give up the salt. You didn't give up that. You didn't give up lorries and all these other people. Right. You just went on and putting it on your vegetables. Yes, yes. I'm just trying to keep it real. Mm -hmm. Okay? So for my vegetarians, it is vital that you take in a protein powder. Yes, ma'am. Absolutely. Did you hear what I just said? Yes. 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 Do this for nutritional purposes. Yes. And then eat what you want to eat. Mm. Feed yourself so the body can have what it needs to operate. So you say, what kind of protein powder are we talking about? Does anybody know? Hemp. 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 We got pea protein. Mm -hmm. But we don't want to put whey protein. Whey is right. a what? Soy. It's a milk byproduct, okay? Mm -hmm. And we don't want a soy protein right, right, right. okay? Absolutely. And I will tell you, be be very um, be very choosy about the stores that you go to to get this protein. Right. Because right. a lot of us say, you know, I went to you know Walmart and I got a protein powder, and I'm not knocking Walmart right now. Right. Okay. Right. But I got it. Right. Okay. Because a lot of the stuff in there is not good. Mm -hmm. You want to go to a health food store, you want to do something like a vitamin shop to get your protein powders, mm -hmm. okay? So you want to get protein powder in your system and you also want to have 15% raw fat. What is that? Avocados. And what are that? I'm here from my family over here in the back. I love y'all. What else, what kind of raw fat can we eat? I heard y'all, raw nuts and seeds, is that what somebody said back there? Raw nuts yes. and seeds. Yes. You got raw nut butters. Yes. Okay? Don't get no pecans with no honey on it and say, oh, I'm getting, I'm getting raw fat. <laughs> or your salted peanuts. <laughs> no. That is not doing it. That's right. Okay? Mm -hmm. So now we have our raw fat, we have our protein, and then I need you to eat a whole lot of greens. That's right. Now these things should be in a proportion. It's 15% raw fat, 15% protein, and 70% green leafy carbohydrates. Now, what is that? What's a green leafy, car leafy carbohydrate? Why did I say that? Talk to me now, family. That's right, we got some spinach, collard greens. I call it a green leafy carbohydrate because most greens have an element of carbon. Okay? But if I just say 70% carbohydrates, y'all can go ham on that plate. That's right. That's right. I can see half that plate being a whole bunch of rice, yes. you know, and then you're gonna have a little bit of veg and say, look, I got, I got my proportions here. Right. I need you to eat greens, okay? So we got kale, so we got collard greens. What else do we have? <clears throat> Spinach, what else? Swiss, girl, give me some Swiss chard. I like that. What else? Romaine. Arugula. See, we know some greens, don't we? Start eating them. Start eating them. You can name them, start buying them and eat them. Okay? Just keep it real, right? It's okay if I keep it real? Okay, thanks. So now that we understand how we're supposed to eat, and if you're not eating right, all the way right, how to do the wrong thing right, mm -hmm. now we gotta talk about how your body's telling on you. How does the body tell on you? Ailments. Ailments. Right. But I can see them. Skin. Mm -hmm. Skin. So what's happening with the skin? Acne. Eczema. What else? Uh -huh. Ooh. Acne. Acne, psoriasis, yes. Uh -huh. Yes. The skin is a canvas. Uh -huh. We are beautiful people. Each and every one of us. I don't care what color your beautiful canvas is. It should be clear. Uh -huh. You should have a clear canvas. Yes. When you have something on that canvas, it means that there is something going on. Yep. So let's just talk about the face.
space. Dr. Africa has a book called Holistic Self-Diagnosis. It's a labor of love from him. But you can go in there and find out what's going on inside your body. Have you ever, first thing you do when you wake up in the morning, you go in the bathroom, and you just first thing you look at your face like, what, what this is? <laughs> well, he has a book that can tell you. What it is. Okay? <laughs> what it is. What it is. So I'm going to talk about the face. And we're going to talk about the board. And don't try to analyze me because I'm up here talking, okay? And uh, bring it to me. Thank you. Okay, I'm sorry about that. Interruption. So what I want you to do, we're going to look at the forehead. With the forehead, the forehead should be clear. Can you tell me what a forehead looks like when it's not correct? When you have um, spots or something on your skin, can you guys name what would not be right to a clear canvas? Wrinkles. Wrinkles. And don't look at mine like I said. Okay? You stress. So what we're looking for is a high concentration of either lines, bumps, bruises. You can say, this happened to me as a kid. I fell off a bike. I don't care. Why did it happen there? The body's always trying to tell you something. Okay? So your forehead is your intestines. Okay? So in your intestinal area, you have a lower, middle, and upper intestines. So you can look at lines in your head and you can say, oh, you're having intestinal issues. And you know if you're having intestinal issues, you can say, I need to work on that. How do you work on your intestines? Herbs. What else? Fasting and cleansing. A lot of us talk about fasting and we don't know exactly how to do that. That's right. Because if you tell me that you're fasting and you're just drinking juice, you're eating. Right. Because the body has to digest the juice. Here's a good try. I get it. I understand. But it's just not all we want. My fingerprint will do it. So, we're going to go now to up underneath the eyes. Have you ever seen dark circles up underneath the eyes? Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Do you know what organ that indicates? Kidney. The kidneys. Kidney. That's correct. Mm -hmm. So, if you notice that you're having kidney issues, what should you do? Water. What else? Cranberry juice. Cranberry juice. What else sounds good? Cucumber juice, that's good. Tart cherry. How about stop eating a lot of salt? Well, now there's that. There's that. Yeah. Okay. That part. You eat a lot of salt. 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 Mm -hmm. Things that contain salt. Yes. Yes. When you eat out, you don't know what's in the food. That's right. That's right. You go to people's house and the food is good, you have to ask them, did you add salt to this? Okay? Because that's why a lot of us have high blood pressure issues. So yes, all the things that you named were good, but you have to know exactly what you did Thank you, Dr. Africa. This is the face that I was actually referring to. That's your face. No, that's not my face. <laughs> so we were talking about the kidneys. Now let's talk about the cheeks. Mm -hmm. Some of us have spots on our cheeks, mm -hmm. okay? Darkness on our cheeks. That's indicative to the lungs. Okay. Can you believe that? Okay. The body is so amazing. Yes. Yes. A lot of us have never smoked before and have bad lungs. Mm. How did that happen? Mm. What, what, what happened? Pollution? Mm -hmm. Heavy metals? Okay. Breathing in? Okay. There's a lot of things that we're exposed to that we have no idea about. Mm. Okay? So that's the face. You can go through the rest of it. I'm going to go through the hand real quick because I love the hand. That's right. <laughs> so I want everybody, who's my right-handers in the house? All right, so I want you to look at your right hand. Who are my left-handers in the house? All right, I'm not going to forget about y'all. Look at your left hand. In your hand, you have three lines. There's a bottom line by your thumb, point to it. There's a line in the middle, point to it. And there's a line right up by the fingers, point to it. Does everybody, has everybody located their line? Okay, so the hand that you're looking at is your present and future hand. It means it's going on right now. Mm -hmm. So we're going to look at the line that's at the bottom, the bottom line, okay? Which is your digestive line. Mm. Now I want you to look at this line. Does it seem like it's broken? Is it thin? Is it a solid line? Is it strong from top to bottom? Now with this line, you have a lower, middle, and upper side to that line. The lower is down here. Then you have middle. Then you have upper. 
So tell me, where's your broken spots at on your lines? It said lower, middle, or upper. You don't have it strong? You strong? Okay, that's good. Does anybody have any broken lines on that? Is it lower or middle or left hand? Middle? Okay. Do I have any lower? Got lower? Do I have any upper? Yeah. Okay, so the upper part of that body means you are not actually breaking down your foods. Okay. You could be eating too fast. You could be wrongly combining your foods, okay? The middle part of that is that you're not digesting it correctly. Okay? The actual digestive process. And the lower part of that line means you're not eliminating correctly. Mm, okay. Isn't that crazy? The body is not telling me. It's no secrets with it if you know how to read it. So let's go to the middle line. Mm -hmm. How many people have a strong middle line? It's strong. I see one, two. Okay, I see quite a few. How many people have a very faint line? It's a very thin line in the middle. It's a short, so any, any short middle lines, raise your hand. Raise them high so I can see. Okay, you guys have a short temper. <laughs> Don't wanna mess with you. I didn't mean to call you out like that. I'm just saying. Okay? Their nerves are thin. When they say you getting on my nerves, it's literal. You really getting on their nerves. Wow. Okay? Okay? The body doesn't find any secrets. And that's something you like. Don't look at my hand. It's all in the book. Okay? It's all in the book. So, if that line is thin or broken, and it, at the top part of the line, it gets strong, it means as you get older in life, it will get better. Okay. But when it's fainting, you don't see it. Meditate often. Wow. Wow. Okay? Wow. Isn't that amazing? Yeah. Wow. Does anybody, do you feel me? Yes. Okay, as long as you feel me, I'm going to continue. Amen. So this top line mm -hmm. is a circulatory line. Mm. And you have a lower, a middle, and an upper of your circulatory line. Okay. Lower, middle, and upper. Okay. okay? Now, how many of us have lines that kind of split in that top line? Mm -hmm. Okay. How many of us have lines that break? Mm -hmm. You can see it, and then it's faint, and then you can see it some more, then it's faint. Mm -hmm. Okay? Is it you following me? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Now, if you have the splitting at the top of that line, you have to be careful of dementia and Alzheimer's and staying in your mind a lot. You mm. think a lot. Mm. Sometimes you take mental vacations and you just don't want to come back. Yeah. Okay? That part. You gotta work, you gotta really pay attention to blood pressure issues. Mm -hmm. okay. okay? Now the lower part of that, because it's a circulatory system, is your lower system. Mm. So it could be your reproductive system. It can be the circulation to your legs and your feet, okay? Mm -hmm. The middle part of that line, if it's broken, it's right here in the middle part of your body. So it is in your <coughs> intestinal area, by your stomach, your spleen, your liver, poor circulation in that area. Okay. Now, can you believe that? Okay? Can I continue? Yes. Okay. Life you can stop me if I'm boring, you know. Uh -uh. Okay?